Hey, it's Ken Perry with the Knowledge Cube, and I'm coming to you live from our set for the 2023 Continuing Education. We have just wrapped everything uh, for all of our 2023 classes, which is super exciting. But I wanna give you one really like big challenge for this year and a, kind of a new way of thinking. Doing as much video shooting as we do in any year, it's a lot. And I can remember a long time ago when I would sit down to start writing you know, 35 states or whatever, plus eight hours of, of, of continuing education, it ended up being such a huge project that I had really a lot of trouble um, getting started. Because when I look at a huge project, I go, wow, that's a lot of things. And I don't know if I can get all that done. And so I'm now, so this year, I'm actually seeing a coach and my coach has talked to me about this concept of next first thing. The next first thing concept is basically looking at all the stuff we do I, I can't have my eyes on everything. What I can have my eyes on is the first thing I need to do. And then once I do that thing, then I go, okay, cool. What's the next first thing? Let me give you a great example of that. I needed to schedule an appointment this week. And I was like, all right, what's the first thing, right? Cause I could be like, oh, schedule that appointment. But if I say schedule that appointment, it's literally never going to happen. So on my to-do list, the next first thing is to put it on my to-do list. And so I go to my to-do list and my to-do list doesn't say like, do it, it says, the first thing. And my first thing for that was call them. And so I put the phone number down, call them. That's on my to-do list. Now my next first thing is to actually make that phone call. So you start doing things more in chunks and like really, really baby steps so that one thing leads to another, leads to another, and then you end up with the ultimate success. Next first thing is what I want you to do. Let me give you one more example of this. Uh, with the push-up challenge, we have two people this year in 2022 that are completing the push-up challenge. The two people have done push-ups all year long, and so that you know what that is, it's literally a next first thing push-up challenge. On January, we do one push-up on January 1st, you do two push-ups on January 2nd, you do three push-ups on January 3rd. It's such a great example because you can't look at the year and be like, I'm gonna do 66,795 push-ups. That's way overwhelming and nobody will ever do it. But if you go, my first thing is to do one push-up. That's how we get through. I had a ton of people make it all the way through June and July this year because you just do one. And it's like, what's the next thing? Well, I do two, right? You can't accomplish everything all at once, but you can do the next first thing. So that's my encouragement as you're setting your goals for 2023, start looking at setting goals and then breaking it down to the most basic first thing and then go do that and then write down the next first thing. Hope you had a great holiday season and we'll see you at the next video.